Hi there! In this video, we'll create a simple SkyFX project. Let's start by cloning the A-Frame SkyFX template project from the 8th Wall Project Library. The body.html file is where all of our 3D content exists. Let's start at the top and work our way down. First, we load our assets using the A-Frame Asset Management System. For now, we've loaded one image to use as the sky texture. Next, we've placed a camera in the center of the scene to represent the user. Finally, lines 22 through 36 define the 3D content that exists in the sky. The parent entity, which is open on line 22 and closed on line 36, has an ID sky scene and the XR layer scene component. The XR layer scene component is what ensures all child entities are only rendered in the sky. We've defined the name of our layer as sky and an edge smoothness of 0.6 to make the transition between the real world and the virtual world more seamless. Let's make our first change to the project and update the sky texture. Sky textures should be in landscape orientation to render naturally. I've saved an image of space from the web. Let's upload the image into the assets folder. To change the sky texture, update the source attribute of the image with ID sky texture with the updated image name. Let's test our project to see how it works. Super easy. With a few simple steps, we change the sky to our own texture. Now, let's swap the box for a 3D model. In other projects, we added our objects as a direct child of the scene entity, but to ensure the 3D model only renders in the sky, we'll add our objects as a child of the entity with the XR layer scene component. Similar to the sky texture, we'll upload a 3D model to the assets folder. I found a low poly UFO model, free to use via Sketchfab. Add your model as an A asset item in the A assets tag. Again, we'll give the model an ID to reference it later, and a source. In this case, we'll assign our model the ID UFO ship. To add the model to the sky, we need to add a new A entity. We'll add the GLTF model component to the entity and reference the ID of our model asset using a hashtag. Now that we've added our model to the sky scene, we need to give it a position relative to the camera. To do this, we'll add the sky remote authoring component to the scene entity. The Sky Remote Authoring component simply removes all of the AR-specific components from the scene so that we can preview the 3D scene in standard A-Frame Web VR. Notice the experience opens in 3D in our preview window. Let's move our focus here. Once the preview window is in focus, open the A-Frame Inspector with a keyboard shortcut. Control Option I on Mac or Control Alt I on PC. We'll select the 3D model entity from the object hierarchy in the left pane of the inspector and begin playing with position values until we find something we're satisfied with. It looks great here. Now, we simply copy and paste these values into our code. Let's save our project and test it on our device. Just like that, we're ready to land and publish our first sky effect. Remember, sky effects can contain interactions and animations just like any other experience. Thanks for watching, and remember, the sky is not the limit.